Hi guys, the reason why I'm getting so close is because I can hope you can hear me. But I wanted to, this message is why I don't wear a mask and why I won't wear a mask. Because of the lies, the anger, the demonic spirit that's behind it. I'm not going to be part of it. I don't know, I guess I just lied to you. I just had one on. I guess I think I'm a superhero. Maybe I watched too much Star Trek as a kid. We go boldly where no man's gone before. Guys, it's, I wear this because to try to lighten the load a little bit and re you realize, you know, the seriousness of it, but the comical, just the sheer madness and stupidity is demonic in nature. I would have more respect for a lot of these people if they just really said what they were doing. I'm not, this is not, do you see a Trump bumper sticker across my forehead? Am I wearing a Magna cap? This is not, you know, and I know a lot of Christians and everybody's like, you know, Trump side or not. That's become an idol too, guys, honestly. It really has. The political system. I'm sorry I'm stepping on a few toes. I'm not doing it to step on people's toes. I'm, what, I'm, what, what I'm saying is the reason why news media is horrible about this guys they want Trump out of office they hate the guy to a passion but some will say it a lot of them are just gutless and they make up all these reasons this whole COVID thing has become an idolized demonic plague and there is a design to it look what it's ushered in it's ushered in the Black Lives Movement. You can't really blame the, some of those people, though, guys. That we put them in a pretty, pretty tight spot. We have been prejudiced. We have been. There's a lot of ugliness in that. But for them to come out like that, no. But let me get back to the lies. And the downright, it, it's in the government. Very high places, guys. Some of the dreams I've had, man, I could tell you the faces, and then all it'll do is sensationalize. I'm not giving them that kind of credit. Really not. You know who I'm talking about. It probably, anyhow. Better not eat crackers while I'm talking. I'm not going to be part of it. I won't. I've been out shopping. I go shopping. I went shopping three places, two or three places. I, I, yesterday, the day before, I'm going to tell you where, because you have the Corona police up my behind. Somebody will. That I've offended or made mad. It's not to be offensive or make you mad. You can disagree with me all you want. I, that's why I don't turn my comments off, guys. I'm not like some of these other gutless preachers that are and politicians and people. Let's hear it. I have more respect for people that I hear it from. I just don't want to hear the, you know, the mask might as well be a diaper on some of us because there's a lot of stuff coming out that's kind of ugly. Stinks. Soapbox stuff. But we're at my, we're at, it's not a beef, it's the grief of the Holy Ghost. We're being lied to, guys. Because the main thing is they want to continue in their sin. You can tell them like it is, guys. You don't have to like it. You can turn it off. You can argue with me. What, whatever. It's not you or your opinion or what you say on Facebook or YouTube or like or dislike or any of that. You can do all that you want all day long. I've got an answer to God, Jesus, the Holy Ghost, and His Word. Or what I say, not you. That's what I'm concerned about. They want to continue in their sin because, and I'm not demonizing because that has become an issue too. The Republicans versus the Democrats. It's an idol and it's become a demonic idol, honestly, guys. I don't really care anymore about it. Jesus didn't care anymore about it. You better not quit start caring about it, even though the ide ideology and, and a lot of them are on that side of the camp. It's the evilness in people's hearts because they want their way.
which is they want to continue in their sin, the sin of abortion. No lives matter on that one. That's why I'm adamant about it. Guys, that's why I voted for Trump, not for the economy, but for a stance on abortion. But now look at the Supreme Court. It was supposed to have saved the day. And they're marching down the same road as the rest of the world, honestly. You can't sing in a church. Ask Ken Peters. Look at his picture. Listen to his heart. He's one of the good guys, guys on the front lines. And he's getting sued. So, you know, maybe this is a plug from any of you guys, millionaires or lawyers, where's your backbone, your Holy Ghost backbone? Go help the guy out. Seriously. Plenty of us saying the same thing. An old pastor friend of ours, not, I mean, we haven't known him really a long time, maybe five, six years, but small church, Carl Tyner, one of the good guys. David Sellers, one of the good guys. Gabriel Nichols. There's others too, guys. It's not, and there's some women too, but I, you know, some of them I really haven't cleared with using their names, so I'm not going to. There's some big preachers too that are doing it. This is a probably, I'm not trying to sensationalize it, but there's a reason why I picked up on the Franklin Graham stuff. Out of anybody, look who his dad was. He could sensationalize this stance. But he doesn't. He's not trying to fill his dad's shoes. He's got his own shoes and he's filling them well. Aaron Buttrick. Man, he's... If you heard his heart, he's got a really good heart. A little brutal, maybe even thuggish on the streets because he's been on the streets. But man, guys, go spend... A, man, that's, that's a challenge. You go spend a couple days with him. A lot of people that aren't lying. I'm not going to lie. They are out to destroy the country, and it doesn't matter what they let in. The defunding the police. If one of the beat cops pick any city, any, 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 anywhere, the forty, sixty thousand dollars, whatever they're making. If some of them were millionaires all of a sudden overnight, or detectives even. Man, CNN and forty other newspapers would be parked out in their house, bribery and all kinds of. Garbage. Maybe, maybe not, but you get the point. So why aren't some of these politicians getting away with it? They're civil servants, too. Why are they wanting Trump out? Not just because they hate his guts. Because they want to still continue in sin. They don't want their little camp to be destroyed. And there is some sin in there, guys. I guarantee you. They don't want to get exposed. They don't want to lose lose their power. They don't want to lose their money. They don't want to lose their thing. I don't care. I don't care if they got it legitimately. That's one thing. But did they? Like I said, if a cop did that, a street cop, we want to throw them under the bus, guys. I've apologized to two of them. I went to one and I told them. I told them. I said. I'm praying for you guys and gals. Don't forget the lady, the female cops, or the, the communications people or whatever, the 911 operators or any of them, the administrative people too. I said, I want to apologize as an American that we threw you under the bus, treated you like a dog, and you still show up. And you still follow that oath. And not about whether they're saved or not, that's not the, they, they, they follow what they believe. He's a big guy too. Tears were in his eyes. He said, it's really hard. So if you've gone to your local beat cop at wherever store you shop, they're all over the place now because of the craziness that's going on. And talk to them and tell them thank you for showing up. Enough of this, guys. Because let's go back to the lies, okay? How many other diseases are there? 
list goes on. Coronavirus is low on the totem pole, guys. It's fine. And I get it, y'all, you fact checkers. And I, I fell into this trap. One guy says master. One says no. One doctor says yes. One says no. Regardless, whether it's right or wrong, works or doesn't, that's what the media wants. It's what these egotistical dictators want, whether it's from Congress to mayors to governors to judges. Man, Dallas is full of them. Lies, guys. Deceptive. Twist it up. Why is the coronavirus? What are we going to do when we get out of the corona jail? Will it be tuberculosis next? Will it be sepsis? And that's a little personal because my mother died from it. It's a disease that honestly kind of a hospital probably kind of created. A hospital system from unsanitary conditions in the mass, the equipment, the, the hospital itself. Uncleanliness could be anywhere from laziness to ineptness to they just can't solve it. 270,000 people, millions get in a year. Right now, more than the coronavirus. And all we hear is the spikes. Now they're saying, the experts, national shutdown. Why do you want to shut down the country? Lock us up. For what? I'm not saying it's not serious because I'm not saying that it, that part of it's a lie. I'm not saying any of that. I'm not just counting the people that have actually died and suffered. And you guys don't even know my heart on this one, guys. I don't even know the guy, the couple. So a couple months ago, I was a firefighter and they lost their little baby, two years old. And I cried and wept and prayed for them. Because that hurts and probably never going to go away. So you think I don't care? Yes, I do. It's not a health issue, guys. It's a corrupt government, systematic, demonic issue so that people can sin. Just spit it out. I'll have more respect for you if you just tell me. You don't like the way it's running because you want to have abortion on demand. That's how we, God, we all got blood on our hands and it's innocent blood. Do their lives not matter? Uh, this is a little brutal. I get it. If it's that good of a selling point, debate it all you want. If it's that good of a selling point to take me to a clinic in New York and an eight and a half month old pregnant woman and bring the cameras in. I'm not doing it to embarrass anybody because it's a little too graphic in that area. But let's see how you get rid of that baby. No, you're not going to do it. It's a little too bloody and brutal. And you're hot. That's why I said it's hiding. I, I'm not hiding behind a mask. To get my way. To get you to believe in God, and Jesus, and the Holy Ghost, and, and His Word. Do it or don't. That's your choice. And you're going to answer for it one day. Just like I'm going to. Believe me or not. But I'm not changing what I'm saying. Because I'm not answering to you, I'm answering to God. Jesus, the Holy Ghost, and His Word. And all my messages are the same thing. A lot of them, almost all of them, every one of them actually, directional. Go get it for yourself. I would have more respect for these people if they would just come out and say it. We hate Trump because he's pro-life. We hate Trump. You know, it's not about Trump, guys. It's been, like I said, it's been idolized. The political system has been idolized. The Democrats versus Republicans have been idolized. Guys, we got to get our head out of our behind on this one. As Christians, and realize that we don't wrestle against flesh and blood, but demonic forces and wickedness in high places. And yes, we do wrestle against some of these people because guess what? It's even scriptural too, honestly. How could that be? It seems like a double standard. It's not. He 
He created some vessels for honor and some for dishonor, the wheats and the tares. Five wise, five foolish virgins. People came and knocked at the door, let us in, let us in, let us in. Didn't we do all these wonderful works? We raised the dead, did all this stuff. Depart from me for I never knew you. It's that old saying I put on under the buck stops here. It's time to be accountable, guys, for your actions and your deeds and your words. And quit being, I hate this social media garbage because, and I hate the way the church is going with it too. No accountability, guys. Preachers, some preachers love it because they can just push a couple buttons and throw out a cheap sermon. I'm sitting under, imagine that, an all-black pastor for six years. The only white guy in there. Look, I'll show you my wedding pictures. Me and a really close friend was a maid of honor, and one other friend, nothing else white in it was in there but the walls. I was just glad to be saved, guys. But he used to say, some of you preachers got a $600 briefcase and a $1 message. That's where a lot of this goes on the internet. It's talk, blah, blah, It's just a bunch of, it's just as much lies and hogwash coming from the church than from the government. Honestly, guys. There's some really good out there, though, so I'm not throwing everybody under the bus. That's not where I'm going with that either. And I can name some of them just because I've listened to them, but, you know, some of the people that I've talked about, and there's others that are taking a stand to the best of their ability, availability, and on different levels of their journey. But there's a lot that aren't because that's another idol, idol of convenience. But these lies have become an idol. The coronavirus has become an idol. I'm not mocking or taking down the seriousness of it. It's one preacher that we disagree on just about everything, but I still let him boast. I actually put some posts on about his church. I don't agree with him on mostly what he's posting, but I agree with him on one thing. He needs to say what he needs to say. He needs to be able to have a voice. He needs to be able to speak. That's why I don't take off my comments. I'm not gutless like a lot of these other preachers. What are you scared of? Man, you do have to be wise. The guy that just got shot, the black guy, executed. But it was a little politicized because everybody says, oh, because he said something about Trump and so the next day he's killed or whatever. You know, that, that stuff gets politicized and emphasized and idolized too. But right next to it, he put a couple of scriptures, Matthew 12, 35, and 38. Read them, guys. Matthew 12 is great. A great start. That's what I'm saying. Who's your source? Well, it's not going to be CNN and all this other garbage. And it's not going to be the Nancy Pelosi of the world and the draconian dictator judges we've got in Dallas and the mayors and the city councils. Some lady posted and you could feel the pain in her heart. Her husband was a cop in Portland. I think it was Portland. I got it. It's on my Facebook feed. The bunch of thug black life murder people were going to raid that place. I don't know what happened, but she wanted everybody to pray for her, her husband. And so I posted it. Yes, let's pray for him. But I will say this, okay? I posted this too. I wouldn't mess with the woman. She's a mid, you know, third, I mean, younger, way younger than me, but, you know, older too. So she's got some wisdom. And, it, you know, it wasn't that she had a Jesus shirt on, but she did. She painted over four, like four times, kept getting arrested in New York, kept painting over the Black Life Matters murals. Black lady. Man, don't, you know, no one she might get shot for that. Killed. Standing for the truth. And I am too. I'm tired of this. Lies and deceptiveness. Spit it out, guys. Tell us where you really are. We already know that. Lying media? No wonder you call it fake news. The government lying to us? Send us a $600 check or whatever, or $1,200, whatever. For five months, trust us, but we're going to lock you up. Now it's going to be a national lockdown. 
if you don't wear a mask, if you don't call down to us, they're spouting out some of the biggest, loudest mouth, little, little, little lady. You know what I'm talking about? All of them, though, but spouting out stuff. Oh, who cares if a few jobs are lost? Really? People are losing their livelihood. People are dying from it, not just the coronavirus. They're taking their lives over this stuff. Cops are being killed. One guy, more than one, bunch of them. People have said this. More lives have been lost to this Black Lives Matter movements than the cops been killing. Yes, that guy was evil. Yes, it needs to be changed. Yes, he, he was an evil cop in amongst many good cops. Most of them are there for the right reason. We gotta weed through them just like we gotta weed through some of these ungodly politicians. Evil people don't care as long as they can stay in power. When they're on a power trip, they're blinded by the enemy of their souls. Pray for them, maybe. I am going to pray for them all I do, but some of them you can't reach because that's the wheats and the tares, guys. Sorry. I'm not wearing a mask because I'm not part of the propaganda and lies. Why do you think I put out that stuff about Herman Gehring? That was the first order of business that Hitler gave him to fund the police so they can't interfere with the brown shirts beating people up for the politics. What do most dictators do? They get rid of the police. They get rid of the people that are smart, scientists and all the other people. And you're going to trust these people that just locked us up and are trying to lock us up again? It's not about the lockup. It's not about the civil liberties. It's about the liberty in the Lord. It's a place you can't even go to church. But you can go to a casino. Man, I hear this all the time. Wear a mask, wear a mask, wear a mask. Go park your butt in one of the biggest retailers and in the, in, in they, they're still open and they're still selling crap you don't even need. Excuse my language. I need to clean that up. Sorry, I will repent for that. Stuff you don't need. But wear a mask. You might spread the virus. Well, go stand in the fruit section for five minutes. People are tasting grapes, they're picking up avocados, resetting them down, they're looking through the tomatoes. Where have their hands been? What have they been touching? Now it's on there. If you Google it, about it gets can get transmitted from surface contact. So, so suddenly that's an expert and it's another part of the fear factor. Well, is it not getting spread from somebody that just picked up 14 avocados and set them all back down and I'm taking home to my family to eat them? times a hundred or a thousand but wear a mask because it's a health issue enough no I'm a, I carry this one in my car and I'm going to start wearing it sometimes if people really are I, man, I, I stick one in my pocket but I walk into stores all over the place and I have to make a decision sometimes people I mean I've had clerks where's your mask it's in my pocket people all the time where's your mask it's in my pocket Depends on how belligerent they get when I want to say something. And, yeah, I'm human. Sometimes they get in the flesh. But I try to pray about it really hard. No, I'm not wearing a mask. And you shouldn't either. I might need a really good lawyer when this is after soon. Where are you guys or gals? Probably because there's not any money in it, maybe. I don't know, like the rest of us. Maybe. Where are you, Daniel? Where are you, Esther? Where are you, church? Come on, guys. Get a little bit of Holy Ghost backbone here. If enough of us said no, we wouldn't have to be. Man, this is the last thing I'm going to say because this is a warning, but I, this is already too long of a video. Literally got a couple weeks, guys. 
look at the dreams that I've had. You're not going to change my mind, convince me on anything. Change if you knew the things that God, because I know some of you guys, and there's some depth in a lot of you, some really good wisdom, some Holy Ghost, and there is some backbone out there, but just not enough of us speaking it out. And it's not speaking, it's action. Look at the dream I had. It was a year ago about a storm coming to America. Guys, look at it. The flames were 100 foot tall across the whole country. It was burning for a month. Literally. It's not me you got to worry about and look out for. You better choose. God, Jesus, and the Holy Ghost, and His Word. Because all hell's breaking loose all around us. Guys, call out your door, look, watch the name, whatever. And you don't even have to be a rocket scientist. You kids are scared to death. Look what we're doing to our children. Saved or unsaved, have you had enough of this? Believe in God or don't, but have you had enough of this? I have. And I am doing something about it. And that's one of the things. The other one is on here. I don't wear a mask. If I do, it's just this one. I'm not hiding behind anything. Man, I've been, YouTube's been jacking with me. Comments wouldn't go through. Some of it could be me because I'm kind of, I'm not the sharpest knife in the drawer on a computer. I'm actually the dumbest box, dumb as a box of rocks. But the Lord already warned me, but people are jacking with me in it. Facebook is jacking with me on it. Stuff goes in all kinds of goofy places. And then when I say something, all of a sudden, suddenly stuff miraculously appears back. Because some of what they're doing probably is illegal, honestly, but they just don't want to get caught. I'm not worried about that anymore. I'll have plenty of platforms. God's got other things going on too in my life, and I got plenty of platforms, guys. This is just one he told me to use. Love you guys. Don't wear a mask. Because of the sin that's lying behind it. I will end with this. We wonder why people can say and do whatever they want to do. Well, real simple. And there's many of them. Look at this last, some of the State of the Union addresses. A lot of them were wearing white coats, arms crossed, wouldn't stand up. Okay, great, right, I get it. You're trying to make a statement. Tearing up speeches. Man, some of this stuff should be done behind closed doors, guys. You're just opening the door to let it. That's what the news media is doing. They have such an evil hatred and anger. Christians, a lot of them. Honestly, I'm just being honest with you guys. I'll tell it to any of them too. And some of these politicians do too. The reason why people are separating this Republican and Democrat is because a lot of them on the ideological side or whatever you want to call it, are for abortion. I said, if it's such a great thing, then take me, let's, let's, let's go to a clinic and take some pictures and put it on video and put it on YouTube. No, you can't. You won't. Lies, gutless, cowardly. I'm not going to say it like it is. I'm not listening to any of that. I might turn the news off for one. But I'm not listening to the people that are going to side in that camp and spout it out either. And you can comment, you can say whatever you want. I'm not gonna tune you, I'm not gonna turn you off. Great. And some of them are actually decent, you know. One one lady posted, Well, we still wear seatbelts, but we believe in God. Well, you know, yeah, that's sometimes we need to get poked a little bit too. But I'm not cowing down and backing down on what I know is wrong. 100% wrong. 
the spirit that's behind it. Just tell us, guys. I might have a little bit of respect for you then, but right now I got none. It had nothing to do with who I vote for or don't vote for. Because that can become an idol too. My vote's for Jesus. God, Jesus, the Holy Ghost, and His Word. Not changing. And it's not a defiant stance. It's because I know what He's done in my life. I've got some landmarks. Some of you might have heard, I've got some stuff that I know, that I know, that I know, that I know. And I know one day I'm going to stand before him and he's going to say, Steve, did you do what I told you to do? You won't be there. None of your lame comments, and I'm not saying they're lame because, you know, that's kind of throwing a label on I'm sorry, if I, you know. There's disagreements. Okay, we'll leave it at that. Because cause you might say the same thing about mine. It's not you that I'm concerned about, but yet I am because you're because we're all made in his image. So if I'm, you know, I, there's just way more to this than I can finish. People probably aren't going to watch this far along, so I might leave my crackers, but... I will end with this. Hopefully people watch this whole thing. Those that do will get it. A lot of dreams, a lot of visions. This was a dream I had. Check it out. Been out a while. I was dreaming and the Lord spoke to me. He said, John, he said Colossians 3.16 was just as important of a scripture. John 3.16 and then I woke up kind of in a sweat almost. I was like, man, I ran over my model. I didn't even know what it said. It's how we treat each other. Read all of three Colossians. But then within two days, the Lord said, pick a book. I was like, okay, God. He said, 316. I was like, okay, God. Not all, but he said, pick a book. Most of them. Matthew 316. They're standalone, guys. It's about Jesus being baptized and the Holy Spirit resting upon him. Malachi. King, we don't know you an explanation. We know God's able. Stand alone. John, uh, all of them, bunches of them. Revelation. Nobody wants to hear this one, but it's in there. I would rather that you be hot or cold and lukewarm, because I'll spew you out of my mouth. Stand alone. You don't have to read all three. You don't have to read all the revelations. Why do they all fit? Why would I dream this stuff? This is not a make believe fairy tale, guys. I'm not writing a book, a fairy tale Jack and the Beanstalk book. Love you guys. But it's time to choose. God, Jesus, the Holy Ghost, and Word are this world and their word. To me, it's pretty worthless. It's an empty airbag. It's a nothing burger. It's all of the above. Love you guys. I'm going to stand. the presence of the Lord.